Are you ready to start another major topic in the HTML prep course? This is Dr. Mark Winnegar and this podcast is an introduction to forms. Forms are the way that HTML allows you to capture some input from your viewer. Let's go down and open up our text wrangler. And I've already started to update our practice page. Uh, my he our heading now is create user account. And that's what we're going to do with our form that we're going to create. Forms begin with the form tag. And again, it's a toggle tag, so we turn it on and turn it off. Within these two, we will put everything in our form. And we're going to start out with some text fields. If we're going to be creating an account for someone, we might want to know who it is. So we're going to ask for their first name and their last name. So let's type in first name, colon. Now, this is just text at this point. Then I'm going to come in and put in my input tag. And I'm going to say the type of the input is equal to text. So I'm expecting my user to type in some text. Now, where do I want to put this text to key in? I have to name a location of memory in order to store their keystrokes. And so I'm going to name it first name. Okay, then I'm going to end this tag. And then let's cause a break. So we'll go down to the next line and we'll get their last name. And things are going to look very much the same. I'm going to input type equals text name. Now I want to have both first name and last name. So I have to give this a different variable name or a different location in memory, which we will call last name. And then let's cause another break. Okay, now let's save this out as it is. We're about mm, almost halfway done. And let's take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so I could type in, well, let me make that bigger for you. Type in my first name and my last name. Okay. So far, so good. Let's minimize that for now and close our, our folder and let's keep on going. So, the next thing that I want to do is get their login name. What do they want to be called? So do an input type equals quote text name equals quote user ID. Okay. Another break. Now so far these are just text fields but we are about to use another kind of field. A text field, by the way, is simply what you might think. It's a place where I can store text. I type the text, I see the text, it gets stored. Now we're going to be soliciting our user's password 
that they would like to use. So I'm going to do an input type equals password. Now it's different than text. In that, we don't see the text that's being typed. So someone looking over a user's shoulder won't see their password. And then we need to store that into a variable. And let's call it PWD. And then have another carriage returner line break. Okay. So let's save this out. And let's bring our browser window back up and refresh. And now we have a new form, our updated form. I'm going to put my name in, Mark Winnegar. My login name, um, let's just do M Winnegar. And my password, aha, you couldn't see it, and I'm not going to tell you. So, we've started on our first podcast for forms. There's going to be some more. There's lots of things that you can do with forms.